My god, there's something alive in there! It says here that someone found a space rock that's alive? Is this right, Professor? Well, not exactly, General. It contains life. The rock itself is nothing more than that. A rock. And what do we know about this life? Is it some sort of E.T.? We can only assume that it came from somewhere out there, but we don't know much more. That's why I'd like to have it taken back to the lab. That way, we can run tests and cut it open. Then we can dissect whatever is inside. Who knows what we might learn. No one is touching that rock. I'm putting guards there 24-7. I don't want some alien monster getting loose. But General Mann, surely you must understand the importance of this to the scientific community. If you could. I shouldn't have stopped to report it. Now I'll never get close! Wait, what's happening? Oh my god. Oh my god! No! 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 Oh my god, no! No, please don't! No! 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 My god! No! Something must be done at once. There's no time to wait for the authorities to stop bickering. I'll return to my lab at once. What do you mean it escaped? This never would have happened if you let me just take it back to my lab. You need to capture it. Make sure to don't damage it too much, though. I need to study the body. My men will do whatever is necessary to protect the American people. James, don't you get the feeling that we're being watched? Janet, relax. You're always so worried. There's nothing watching us. I'm serious. I feel like something's watching us or that we're being followed. There's nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Well, I guess you're right. <laughs> Are you all right? Yes, we're all right now. Thanks to you, Mr. Uh... Ray. Ray McGuff. I'm a scientist. So what was that thing? It was a creature. An alien. Some sort of... thing. It came from space. Or maybe even beyond that. I'm trying to make a weapon to stop it. But apparently, it didn't work. Well, it sure was scared off pretty easily. Anyway... You two aren't safe here. Come back to my lab. Recalibrated the spectrometer to account for its freezing point. Pass me that tool. Nope, not that one, the other one. Ah, perfect. Now if I can just... What if this creature really doesn't want to hurt us, though? Don't be absurd, Janet. But what if it's scared? Don't be ridiculous. I've seen it kill before. It's a menace. This version should kill it for sure. Keep your eyes peeled. We need to find it before it finds someone else. Over there! Wait, wait, don't shoot it. It doesn't want to hurt us. Janet, what are you doing? It's probably just scared. There, there. It's okay. There's no need to be afraid. I won't hurt you. It really was just scared. I guess we should have listened sooner. But what do we do now? We can't just leave it here. I guess we have to get it home somehow. Come now, Janet. We don't have that kind of technology. Actually, I believe I may know a way. You two take the creature to my lab, and I'll meet you there. They've posted another guard. I'll have to sneak around. I was right! That was no meteor that the creature came in. 
It was a ship. I've salvaged some parts from it and have managed to build a new one. So that means it can finally go home now? That's right. Say your goodbyes now. I doubt it will wish to return here. The creature turned out to be naturally peaceful. If only humanity wasn't so predisposed to violence, it could have taught us many things. Instead, it barely escaped with its life. I can only pray that humanity learns to change its ways before more visitors arrive.